is it to be back in Tallinn after winning Grand Prix with your last film? Yeah, mm, yeah, it's fantastic to be here, not because of the Grand Beer, but because it's Tallinn. I, I, I have my origins here and I, I love to be here in Tallinn and I love the festival as well. It's very intense, it's very concentrated on films and um, yeah, I was very lucky when I, I won this prize for Best Director a couple of years ago. Let's go with a little bit of what topics you like to, uh, how to say, investigate in your movies. I think you're particularly interested in taboo. Why are you interested in taboo? taboo. Yes. Why, why do you find that topic interesting as a director? Mm, I don't agree because it's not the taboo what's interesting me. I mean, uh, mm, if you want to find out what's going on with the history of a country or people, then um, maybe you find something what's not going well. And if you're searching for it and bring all these things out, of course you have to handle with taboos, but it's not my main interest. My main interest is to find out what's wrong with, with um, our society, what's wrong with some sp special things, and that's what it is with a new film as well. Uh, for your new film, you have an excellent cast best of the best actors. Was that crucial in the filmmaking? You knew it from the beginning or that came along with the process? You were writing and thinking like you very much know who you have to be or it was a casting process because I, I love them. I love them so much. I was very lucky with the cast but it was not planned. Uh, to be honest there were other actors planned but they didn't want to do it anymore and so I asked the best actors in, in the German world and um, because I love to work with actors and they know it, and that, uh, that I, I, I have a very intense working progress, they accepted it. And I'm very glad with Lars Eidinger, he's a very, um, very famous German theater actor. And Adele Nell, I didn't knew, know her before, but she, she is now a, a superstar in France and um, she did a great job and was very cu courageous. Mm -hmm. Courage has a lot of courage to, to do it. And she learned German. She, she couldn't speak one German word before, so she learned the whole language to shoot this film, and that means she's really passionate. Um, you've said once that you had just an image, a vague image in your head, a thought, before you started writing this film. How do you describe this process that, as a director? You have an idea that you want to make a film about. How, how do you take the steps there as something that would give, may, maybe be something uh, inspiring for other young filmmakers here in Estonia, thinking how they can make their films? I think it's so different from each um, artist, but in con um, concerning my personality, I think uh, for me it's very good to, to create at first the characters of the movie, not the plot. So I'm thinking a lot of uh, time about what kind of character is it, because I'm working with extreme characters, who are really <laughs> extreme, and then they have to be really good, well um, built up. And that's the first thing. So I don't think so much about how it begins, how it is in the middle, how is it in the end. I think about what's the pain of them, where do they want to go, when, how do they meet, and what's going on with them after the meeting. That's my process. And then comes, come all the plot things out. I think it's a relevant moment to ask uh, what will be your next film. Do you have any ideas? Will you return to Estonia? Yeah, I have an idea. Normally it needs four years for me to make a film, so I want to, I have to shoot um, in um, 2019, but the, the, the script is done. It comes out as a, as a novel now in March 2017, and, and unfortunately, yeah, it's the earliest moment to shoot it in 2019. Um, has doesn't have so much to do with Estonia, but with Latvia. Um, yeah, it's, it's about the secret service of Germany after the World War and it was sort of founded in Latvia. No one knows that. Because my origins are as a Baltic German in Estonia and in Latvia as well. Mm. If uh, to take a step back and go back to the film, um, where do you think the world is leading? In some way I find this film a little bit like a cure help to think where to go. But where do you think right now with all the political changes? Where is the world leading? I have not the slightest idea. No. no. 
no, no, no ideas or political speculation where we could go. Of course, no. There is so much because um, it's very seldom. Uh, maybe all um, there is a, um, a German intellectual. Um, um, what was his name? I don't remember the name. And he told um, that every hundred years the world is just, you know, everything is um, collapsing and sort of. And everything is beginning new. Maybe we do the same terrible shit again. And now I have the um, feeling, and a lot of people are thinking with all this shit, what's going on with Trump and um, the right wing um, movements in, in, in Europe and in the world as, as well, with Erdogan and so on. What's going on at the moment? Maybe um, we are at the beginning of a new era, and um, that's what everyone suspects or, or and, and me too nobody knows what's going on nobody I think please don't ask me <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I just feel that right now um, making a movie or being in the movie business becomes more and more irrelevant and at the same time you feel that you can do a change and I'm biased for example I, like why should I make movies if I could try and help and save the world and at the same time movies could be one option do you believe one or the other you're a like, long-time established filmmaker. You probably believe that your films can change something. I understand, but you know, uh, Martin Luther told, if you know that the world is going tomorrow down, then you just have to take this little apple tree and put it onto the earth, and that's what, what we are go doing, you know. Um, faire le jardin, uh, um, to, just to make the garden, and you're doing your own business. Uh, it's, unfortunately, we don't live so long. So we just have to be here and do the best with our uh, crafts. And that's what I try with my little craft. This was the perfect ending. Like, <laughs> this, was the, this, was, this was great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your English.